In this review video, we're going to take a look at the new 200 watt portable solar panels from GrowWatt. GrowWatt recently released their Infinity 1500 portable power station, which I reviewed and found to be a worthy adversary to the Jackeries and Blue Eddies of the world. Now they've added in some portable solar panels to pair with the Infinity 1500 to make it a true solar generator. They have a 100 watt and 200 watt size, but we're only going to be taking a look at the 200 watt version in this video. The 200 watt model unfolds into a long rectangle with four square sections and is made with an ETFE film over the solar cells for protection. When properly laminated, this top layer is durable, waterproof, and UV resistant. Keep in mind, these types of panels do not last as long as traditional fixed frame solar panels in a permanently mounted outdoor scenario. These portable panels are ideal for camping, boondocking, emergency situations, and temporary remote needs where the lighter weight, easy setup, and portability are critical. The Infinity 1500 power station can handle up to 800 watts of solar input, so GrowWatt sent me four of their 200 watt portable solar panels for testing. Inside the box you will see the zippered protective case that they come with, featuring leather handles on top for easy transport. Now please keep in mind that these 200 watt panels are about half the weight of a normal 200 watt solar panel at 15 pounds, which is great. But that is heavy enough that you probably don't want to go on a backpacking trip with one. As I unfolded the solar panel, I noticed how rigid and stiff the backing material is on these. You would definitely not classify these as semi-flexible, which in my opinion is a good thing. I've had nothing but problems with the semi-flexible ones, as they don't last very long. So these panels do fold up, but cannot be bent, and that will protect the solar cells from damage. When fully deployed, the 200 watt panel is very long, at almost 90 inches, or 7.5 feet. So keep that in mind. With one panel, you shouldn't have too much trouble. But with four of these fully deployed, it can take up some serious real estate fast, as you'll see later in the video. The case material feels durable and will help protect the solar panel when not in use. And finally, here you can see the tech specs. You'll notice these specs are halfway between a 12 volt and 24 volt panel, so keep that in mind if you want to use these panels with anything other than the 1500 power station. After waiting for a week or so through some bad weather, I finally got a nice sunny day to put these panels to the test. Unfortunately, it is winter, so the sun is lower on the horizon and that means long shadows. So all of the testing you will see in this video is kind of worst case scenario, other than no sun, obviously. But my subscribers will know that's how I roll, with real world scenarios and without editing out mistakes and poor conditions because you're going to deal with those same struggles, so why hide it? Because of the rigidity of these panels, and the fact that I had to try to dodge shadows the best that I could, it took a little while to get these set up. And you can see how much space four of these will take up. Keep in mind you do have to allow for some space between each panel, especially in the winter, so that they don't cast a shadow on each other, which will greatly limit their power output. After messing around with placement for a while, I compromised on this setup which did have some shadows, but should improve as it gets closer to noon and the sun is a bit higher in the sky. Thankfully, GrowWatt made the cables very easy to connect together without requiring any special adapters or extra cables. Everything you need comes with the Infinity 1500 power station. I fully discharged the power station and then connected it at around 10 a.m. to the 800 watt panel setup. My plan was to just let it charge as much as it could, shadows and all, in a single day. Again, without some really long extension cables, there was no way I could get all of these panels in perfect sun at all times in my backyard. If you have more space at your campsite or wherever you are, and it isn't the dead of winter, you should get 600 watts or better out of these panels in real world conditions. During my test, I was able to get over 200 watts a few times but it averaged around 150 to 175 watts. I did adjust the angle of the panels a few times to reorient them toward the sun as it moved across the sky. And as the sun set, I ended the day at about 72% state of charge on the Infinity 1500. I consider that pretty good despite the horrible conditions, but let's move on to some more precise testing without so many variables. 
I waited another week or so for another bright sunny day for another test. This time, I tested a single 200 watt panel to see whether it meets GrowWatt specifications. This time, with only a single panel, I was able to make sure that I did not have any shadows whatsoever. First, I tested the open circuit voltage. GrowWatt rates this at 24 volts, and my testing confirmed that and even exceeded it a little bit. Then I tested the short circuit current, which they rate at 10.46 amps, and my testing confirmed that number. I forgot to hit the record button on the footage, but I was able to read over 10.5 amps with this same multimeter after letting it cool down for a bit. And finally, I hooked up the panel to the Infinity 1500 power station to see how many incoming watts the LED display would read. Again, no shadows at all on the panel. I was able to get between 130 and 175 watts consistently, which is about what you would expect from a 200 watt panel in real world conditions. And don't forget one of the coolest features of this setup is the ability to monitor solar production remotely with the MyGro app. Obviously that requires you to purchase the Infinity 1500, but I don't really see anyone buying these panels by themselves anyway. So you can deploy these panels outdoors and stay warm or cool in your RV or cabin while you keep an eye on the charging process. In conclusion, the GrowWatt 200 watt portable solar panels are a high quality solar panel that pair perfectly with the Infinity 1500 portable power station. They're not the lightest weight panels you'll find or the most portable, but they are built to last and for around 400 US dollars, that's what I wanna see. All of the electrical specs are properly rated and there are no extra cables or accessories required to make it all work together. So do yourself a favor and keep GrowWatt in mind when you're in the market for a top shelf solar generator. Thanks for watching this review video. If you found it helpful, please leave a comment and a like below.